what to buy, where to eat, when to travel, and how to get things done. Mobile apps are becoming more and more influential as they spread to millions of smartphone users. And as the app market grows, it is the right time for small business owners to jump in and create one. The best part is, our guest says you don't have to be a technical genius to make a successful one. Chad Moretta is the founder of Empire Apps and co-founder of T3 Apps and Best Apps. He's also author of the new book, App Empire, Make Money, Have a Life, and Let Technology Work for You. Hey, Chad. Great to see you. Great to have you. I, Thank you. I, I feel like I said the word app 39 times in that intro for you. So <laughs> let's start talking about them. For people who have not jumped into this space right now, if you have any online presence, do you need to have an app as well in order to reach people going forward? Um, yes, yes. I mean, the old way of doing business is changing. It's evolving. And business owners really need to evolve with the changes. So they need to understand that the consumers... Their customers are actually carrying around these smartphones, and they need to understand that and bring their products or their services to them. You know what I found, too, as I look, as I look in the App Store? I mean, we have this example of Taxi Magic. The designs are so simple, and mm -hmm. it's actually, you can learn a lot from just looking at other people's designs. It's, it's a lot simpler than, than a web page. Exactly. And so, yeah, it's, oh, sorry, really, go ahead. it's really copying Apple. I mean, it makes it intuitive, makes it very easy to understand. And uh, yeah, it's not that difficult. You don't have to create the whole thing. You can emulate and learn again from these successful companies that have made it really easy for their customers to grab. And what are the things you need to be looking for when you're looking at somebody's app? What, what are the little things that I might l miss because I'm, I'm not so I'm well versed in this space? Yeah, I would look at, uh, first of all, the reviews. Make sure that people actually really like the app. And make sure, you know, find out the reasons why they like the app. And then, you know, just look for what the actual functionality is. What is the value of these, this app? So if I'm buying uh, something or if I'm using the app as a, as a customer, what are the, you know, one or two th things that I can get out of the app that makes my life easier or makes me able to connect with uh, this business more. Got it. And icons, titles, are there particular things we should pay attention to there? Yeah, make, make sure that icon pops. Make sure that as, as soon as someone sees it or the screenshot or the title that it intrigues the person and it tells them exactly what it is so they don't have to guess because... You know, people move on so quickly right now. They want to see it immediately and understand it. So obviously most people who are watching the show right now are not skilled enough to make their own app. So when you go out and you hire an app developer, what are some of the questions you need to ask? You need to find out how experienced are they because the industry is pretty new. You want to make sure that they've done apps that are similar to the ones that you're looking for. And you want to make sure that you actually are download their apps and you test them out. Uh, you want to make sure that they, you know, first of all, that they can do what you want to do and... Also that you can talk to maybe a couple of people that they've developed for. That's important. And are these people involved in marketing your app as well, usually, no. or they just develop it? They just develop it. Yeah, oh. it's pretty much hands-off. They develop it, they give it to you, and then you deal with the marketing. Okay, so let's talk about marketing because you can develop something great, but if nobody knows it's there, then it may as well not exist anymore. You gave us an example of Say Hi Translate. If you, we look at their analytics, they were doing pretty well, and then they just shot up. So yeah. somebody like that, what did they do to get from okay to great? Great question. Yeah, so companies like that, what they do is, you know, they have the components down to the whole process, making the icon good, the you know, the screenshots good and stuff like that. And a lot of people, what they're doing is they have a network of other apps. So they might have a free app that they use because there's no barrier to entry. So it's a free app. And I'm a customer. I look at the app store. I see that free app. I download it. And then if it's really, really good, then they push me on to their paid version or other features inside of their app. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, Chad, thank you so much. I know this is the beginning of this conversation, but I think it's a great reminder for people, go look at what your business does and see how that can translate to an app, and, and that's the first step. Definitely. Thank right. you very much. Thank you, Chad.